through and shifting my mindset and understanding that this reset that was coming was was going to benefit me was actually making me a better person was literally and mind you at that point when i was in the midst of that transition i didn't know that this was that's what was happening i just yeah. understood that what, what what i was doing prior and everything that took for you know move, to this point was not working so back to the mm. paralyzing podcast where we focus on business leadership and personal development hey i'm gonna keep it 100 i found the hack i found the hack i gotta go to the gym before the podcast that's that's just the hack that's just the hack. <laughs> i got great energy this morning what about y'all man talk to me that energy boy right the energy boy helps you when you go to the gym and and just go right into that that you know that whether it's that pre-work like your boy uses pre-work all the time um <laughs> Yeah, I do. I can't. I, I'm, I'm guilty of it. That's why I don't drink coffee. I don't do that's my caffeine. Um, mm -hmm. But the energy, you know, that that stimulating that energy within yourself and, and just kind of get it from the gym and everything is so much uh, easier. And you're having fun and you're smiling while you're doing it, because there's there's this thing of uh, this uh, self satisfaction, sat right? If I'm saying that right, that when you go to the gym, you check something off that most likely you don't want to do. Um, but you feel good. You, you, you're like, yo, we, let's go. What's next? Um, so yeah, that energy is huge after the gym, bro. I'm good, man. And the I'm people good. that be there, huh? The people that be there in the morning time, they, they, you know, they got that energy. Most of those people have that energy. They're not really forcing themselves. It's those people been, that are in their routine. I don't know what gym. I, I don't know what gym you've been into, bro. I, but like, I look around. There's some people in there just hating their life, bro. Like that they're even in there. I'll be honest with you. I've gone. I, I, I used. There was a season when I was going to the gym at five o'clock in the morning. That means I was up by like four something. Get to the gym at five. Um, that that yeah, I did that for a while, man. And that's a that's a whole different level of commitment. And and you know, folks, <laughs> folks really, you know, it's like yo, they got to get to work at seven. They got to get in there before that because if they don't, by the time they get home, it's six, seven o'clock in the evening. They're burnt out for the day. And so mm -hmm. I get it, man. But it's like. Yeah, man, they're not happy. Yeah, you don't see too many of those folks at five o'clock in the morning smiling, wanted to have a conversation. I think, see, you know, it's crazy because I think now that goes with living in like, a, like a, like a suburban area almost. Because I feel like a lot of those people own businesses. There, there's a lot of bodybuilders in there. It's a lot of fitness people. <laughs> so it was a bit different of a vibe. They're very happy and they're ready, ready to go. I really don't see a lot of people dragging. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I want to go to that gym. <laughs> I don't like how's the grind been going. I know you've been. I know you've been on the grind lately. Talk about gym. Let's talk about gym. Uh, I would be one of those people dragging in the morning. <laughs> you see me? I would be one of those people. <laughs> I literally tell my trainer, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna whine and complain about it, but I'm, I'll do it. Just give me time. But I listen mid curl. I'm yawning. I'm one of those people. This is what it is. <laughs> he's like you're gonna feel great it's gonna feel great it's just, don't, don't you don't you feel good isn't this easy and i'm like no <laughs> but i'm there okay i'm there um things have been good i'm great tomorrow's your girl's birthday so i'm celebrating wow I, 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 listen, that's early I'm that's early birthday. 23 yes. right right says 23 yeah, Mm -hmm. We're going with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going with that. <laughs> hey, what y'all didn't, didn't hear is before this, she made a whole meeting with me tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And I didn't even know it was her yeah. birthday. That's great. Yeah, I mean, we still got to do some some work, right? I'm I'm not doing a whole lot of work, and I ain't going to say that, but I'll do some. <laughs> now, so, now um, are you one yeah. of those people, like, are, we, are you one of those people where that, you know, your birthday is your whole week or is it just that day? I won't necessarily take the whole week, but I do enjoy mm -hmm. birthdays. I really do. So um, me and a few friends are going to a really nice brunch today. I'm going to have some waffles um, and some chicken and some other stuff. <laughs> but balance, because I meet my trainer tonight at 7 p.m. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. still there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. But no, I'm excited. I'm excited. Things have been good. Um, I feel like I'm always busy and in a season of figuring out the next level of rest and what what does that look like to be productive and yet still prioritize rest and wellness. Um, but mm -hmm. I'm good, man. I'm good. No complaints. God is good. Doors are opening. Things are moving. Money's being made. People are getting fed. Yeah. 
Praise God. Yo, file fair. <laughs> file fair that 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 I I'm one of those that believe it's a my birth my my birthday month. I like I like the yeah, month. Yeah, see I seen your face. I think you were gonna say that when I seen your face when I said the month. <laughs> the month. Like I, I, I was never like that. <laughs> but I think as I'm getting older, I'm like I'm like like to I, I share this be with y'all prior, right? I like my birthday's like my New Year's. So to mm-hmm. me, this when I had just hit forty seven, mm-hmm. I was I was literally like, okay, like, you know, there's some things that we have to celebrate, and then there's some things that we got to really be intentional with. But mm-hmm. as I get older, I, I, I'm still celebrating my birthday within myself, right? Mm-hmm. Like, because I I think until August, uh, September twenty seventh, like after September after September twenty, like you know, see, because my birthday's at the ending of August. Um, you know, we can't be on that foolishness, but, and I don't mean celebrating like, like, like going out there and chilling, but it's more like the only person I know who celebrates into the next month. Most people just be like, okay, you're an August baby. They'll celebrate the month of August, but not going into the next month, but sis, 30 days, like that's a month. Like, so in my head, the way it works is like from 27 to 27, that's, that's three, that's three weeks. So that's how I justify that. But, um, yeah, is that fair or is it? No, that's not. I, I need it's to get giving, off that. I mean, let me sit on that. It's let me giving bread. Right, I'm just letting y'all know where my mind's at. Like, as I get older, man, it might turn into like, yo, that quarter of the year. Like, it'd probably be third quarter celebration for me at that point. But What does that look like? <laughs> what does that look like? That looks like us, you know, getting to a point that we financially free. That I could say, bro, well, listen, I love y'all. But I'm gonna have this meeting out in the island somewhere, and we're gonna put up the laptop, and we're gonna get this work, and I'm gonna get to create some content. Well, why by. does that have to be connected to your birthday versus just a separate time, or it just, does it just feel extra special? It does. Mm-hmm. That's that's, that's, that's it right there. I can't. I that, can't. That, that, that's that. That's that plot <laughs> attendant in me. That's that. That's okay. that extrovert. That it just feels. It feels like, bro. Forty seconds. Imagine when I hit fifty. Oh lord. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. anyway, that'll be a whole different. We're traveling for my fifty. We're traveling. We're doing something. So I'm letting y'all oh, know. Yeah. I'm letting y'all know right now. And I'm thought. I'm thinking about Japan. So I'll be honest with you. I'm letting y'all know right now. Fiftieth uh, birthday. Uh, taking it back. I was in Japan when I was thirteen. Um, mm-hmm. And and I've always been. That's always been a catalyst of me traveling. And I've just. It was the first time for me to get out of the country and just uh, like just be. I was blown away by like culture and different lifestyles okay. and just people and just in general. And that's always been, um, that's something that I love to do. And that's why I love me in different types of, uh, you know, uh, uh, spaces, but yeah, 50th, put it on the calendar. Your boy mm-hmm. is going out to Japan. So, so we, we going out to Japan. You know, it, the fact that you said that though, it kind of makes sense, you know, and it definitely the, the two things we was talking about, what you just said and the gym kind of goes into our subject today because it's like the subject is resetting, 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 resetting. And Jorge, what you said is basically <laughs> for 30 days, you're reflecting. So on that 30th day or even before then, you can reset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's huge. And that's huge. I think that when it comes down to resetting, I gave this example in one of our lives in the past, but in all actuality, the way I think about resetting is, okay, I work out six days a week. That seventh day is my off day. But what am I doing on that off day? I'm on the bike, I'm stretching, I'm in the hot tub. I'm making sure that my body is fully, fully reset. So on that first, when I get back to the first day, of the, back to working out, I don't, you know, I'm clear. I know exactly what I need to do. I know that it's knees over toes now. It's not parallel squat. I know all of these things because why? I took one day to reset. You know what I'm saying? And so just the subject of resetting has many different examples. And I, I just wanted to kind of tap in with y'all on how, how do y'all feel about resetting? And then I'll go into the second question after y'all, you know, after you answer that one. Ladies first. Mm-hmm. Birthday girl. Let's put it birthday girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I think... I don't know. Like you said, there's so many different ang- angles to take it. I will just speaking for myself, one of the things that I was challenged to do 
is to find meaningful ways to rest. And for me, being able to rest is deeply tied being, to, to being able to reset, right? Um, mm-hmm. I think it's just natural part of our culture, when you own a business, when you're working, whatever, all the things of life, it's so easy for us to be on the go. Um, and on the go to the the extent of like, we're missing very vital parts that we should be playing, paying attention to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're missing cues from God. We're missing the communication and connection with our friends and family. Like we're missing things for the sake of getting stuff that honestly doesn't matter in the long run to, to get stuff done. And so I've been challenged to find ways to rest and maybe like unconventional ways to rest. And that in just like a daily aspect helps me reset mm-hmm. more frequently. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, one of the things that is just, I mean, this is, it's not bad, but you know, like your girl likes to veg out on the couch. Like I love a couch. I was very particular about what type of furniture I wanted. And I bought furniture that allowed me to be comfortable, that allowed, that was like just inviting and warm. And that helps. And it's stuff like that that you don't think about furniture being a part of like a flow to your life. But your girl be on this couch watching some old school shows. I ain't gonna tell y'all because I want y'all to judge me. But some old school shows. (laughs) Um, but that has been something that I've been playing with recently of just, I spent two days and I didn't leave the house. I had a few conversations, mm-hmm. but I wasn't in any rush to get anything done. I literally took naps and, you know, ate my snacks and watched some movies that I enjoyed. And it's so simple and yet it's so complicated because when you do yeah. take that time to slow down to try to implement whatever that reset is, it, there's always something that's going to come up. There's always something that needs to be fixed a phone call that needs to be answered. There's always something. Um, But I will say in those two days, I could actually tell a difference in my body from just Mm -hmm. resting and not going anywhere. And so for me, part of my reset that I'll be pursuing through the rest of this year into 2024 will be when it comes to the aspect of my body, being able Mm -hmm. to actually feel rejuvenated in my body and not just saying, oh, I slept for eight hours, but still getting up and I'm tired, right? And so... um, that's that's been a big part for me and i think it would do a lot of people well to to pursue that because it's not till you really slow down that you realize how exhausted you are how much inflammation you may have in your body um just just anything so that's been that's been big for me and i would say that's an important angle in order to get to the other parts of resetting is figuring out that wholeness and health within your body you know it's it's crazy because like what you said basically about the couch thing, it almost made me realize like resetting helps you hack your life. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't mm-hmm. reset sit there with your thoughts, understand the thoughts, you're not going to know like, okay, this couch is going to help me reset. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, okay, this aesthetically pleasing chair, I'm going to sit in and be stiff, but I'm not going to be able to, you know, I'm not going to ever reset. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, so and I think that's something. Hack your life. Yeah, I think that's something very practical for people, though, right? Because sometimes, you know, we talk about going on the big vacations and, you know, oh, my gosh, I might want to make more money. I have time for family and friends, which is true. Um, but at the same time, they're just like practical things that you can do daily. And for me, that was one of them. I was like, I need to make sure I have furniture that fits my flow of life. I'm one of those people when I get in the bed, I do have my phone next to me in the bed, at least for a few minutes anyway. I had to make sure I had the appropriate this may this may be a little nerdy, y'all, but the appropriate size nightstands with the right height, the right charger. But but it made a difference for me, right? It's something so small, but it's stuff that we don't think about. And so that helped with my flow and it created more ease in my life, which helps me embrace those aspects of resetting. That's good. That's good. Talk to me, Jorge. Yeah, no, that's good, man. I, I think I just want people to really grasp, you know. I, I don't want y'all to hear sofa, chilling, right? Like there, there's a purpose. <laughs> nah, because, hey, like yeah. we, we got folks listening and we got folks yeah. really, fig, you know, working on work, working on how they could get to the next level. And so mm-hmm. I, I know Alali and I understand how she works and for her to work, <laughs> she needs to work from the inside out. Um, mind you, mm-hmm. we should all be working from the inside out because you can't start from the exterior and hope that the interior is going to catch up with that. It's a it's a recipe for you know it's a formula for for uh, disaster, right? Because 
you're going to get to where your destination, but can you stay there? And that's, that's something I always tell people. So that's huge that, you know, she's in the season um, as she turns uh, 23 that literally, you know, um, it's, it's more like, you know, how can I cultivate an environment where um, my body, my mind, my spiritual, right? Like all the, all these elements are aligning with each other, which ultimately is going to give you the success, right? Which ultimately, and so I don't want you, I don't want y'all to really miss that. I, I don't want y'all to, you know, sofa, chilling, veggie now. Like, yeah, some of y'all need to stop veggie now, period. Like I'm going to keep it a hundred with y'all. Like, like that's, that's really, that's really your reset because that you, you've been, and, and mind you, and it's not even intentional. You're not, it's not because you're, you're, you're trying to align yourself to, you know, like, like I told you this month for me, yes, this month birthday for me, it's clarity. It's really like, there's a lot of, uh, I've been doing, I, but this is, this is, this, you know, I didn't just start doing this now. I've been on this all year. If y'all could recap and, and hear Jorge, I've been on some reflection, looking in the mirror, identify, right? And so the reset has always been, I, I, I'm a professional resetter. I'll give you some example. I, I learned how to reset when I was young and we were coming out of poverty. I, I had to deal with high school. I had to deal with a lot of this stuff that I have no, no, no information, no guidance, no, none of that. I get gunned down and, and, and there was another reset there, right? I had my whole life got pulled under me, right? I had to reset. And mind you, I didn't know even the word reset was a thing. It was more a survival mechanism, right? It was me like you either sit there and you always hear me say you either sit in it or you or you or you do something about it. I went I got to a point that even after the wheelchair, there was another reset in barbering, right? Like like I had to identify like, OK, like this is not it. We're going to be collecting an SSI check for the rest of your life. Like I can't live off eight hundred dollars a month. Like mm-hmm. that's after this check is after I pay the rent and a couple of things, I got like $10 to my name. That's not it. So there was a reset there. I, I, we went through COVID, right? There was a reset mm-hmm. in COVID that the world experienced together. And I believe that, you know, that was something that it was in, it, it scared a lot of people. It actually, you know, uh, you know, activated a lot of traumas and triggers for a lot of folks. They had to go through something that just, they never really, um, we're able to identify um, and, and, mm-hmm. and because the, the world is so noisy that even when they are resetting, they don't see it as a reset. And, and then mind you, I'm in school now chasing this degree, right? So I, I have mastered the ability of resetting. What I want people to, and it's going back to why, why I started with what Alali was saying, it's not so much the reset, it's the shift in your mindset before you press the reset, Right. Naturally, as human beings, we reset all the time. Your body's going to reset and literally, you know, when you're actually, when I'm cutting hair and I was cutting hair, I'm sitting down in a chair, in a wheelchair, right? So when I'm cutting hair, there's this thing called, you know, hanging length. A hanging length is just cutting your hair all the same length. When you do hanging length, you have to hold the hair at a certain angle, a degree, which is a zero elevation. So you could actually cut that hair with the perimeter all even. Right. If you if you take that section of hair and you tend to pull it towards you, now that zero elevation turns to, into a 90 degree. What you're doing is just you're changing the, the actual perimeter of the whole haircut. So you would have to recut that because you're literally uh, not are uh, not even in it out. What happens is naturally you're as human as human nature. When you're standing in front of that. Right. You tend to pull the hair section towards you because it's easier. So naturally, your body, your brain is going to reset for you and it's going to try to find the easiest way. It's going to try to find what, what, what you know, it, it, let's not work too hard, Jorge. Let's just bring the head up to us. OK, that, that's, that feels more comfortable. But the, the reality is not going to give me the results that I'm seeking because I need to stay down here and I, I need to keep the hair at zero elevation as I cut so I could get the end result that I'm seeking. So your body naturally does these resets without even noticing the intention behind shifting your mind before that reset or why you are resetting is the goal, is the key to me. In the beginning stages of my life, I didn't understand the concept of mindset. I didn't understand that when I, when I was shifting, I was even doing it intentionally. I'm not, I'm, I wasn't that deep. So I'm not going to say him like, yo, I, like, oh, I, I knew my mindset and this was not. I was literally operating off a of survival instinct. 
And so when when I was in school, I started creating this uh, DJ. We talked about it. This this persona of this tough guy, right? If you know me, I'm a goofball. Like you guys know me. I I, I love to joke around naturally. I'm someone that. But through my childhood, I had to create this persona, right? Of 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 literally this tough guy because in my in my experience, the trauma I have co- gone through had put me in a space where either I looked at the world like you're either a victim or a victor. And so I made a choice, conscious, a, a, a subconscious choice, way, way when I was younger, that I, I no longer want to be, I don't want to be a, a victim to nobody or anything. So that persona, that that energy started creating this tough guy, uh, uh, oh, you're not going to disrespect me. Oh, you're not going to do X, Y, Z. Oh, you're not going to do, right? That turns to fast forward into the day I got gunned down, like looking back, like that was ego. That was just me acting, you know. And mind you, I, I don't think that I could have gotten a, that. That was going to happen no matter what. Like it was just one of those things. It, it just it, it it happened faster than probably what it should have because I had that 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 energy, and and my mindset, my 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 mindset was just stuck on on you know uh, like I'm not going to be a victim. And me thinking that by me operating on for certain behaviors. I was going to end up on the better side of things. The reality is this. After I got gunned down, two years after, I was still, there was some, there was a reset because now I'm in a wheelchair. So there's a reset. But my mindset was still stuck on that way before I got put in a physical chair. I had, I had what we call the paralyzed mindset. So I was still in a wheelchair, right? Even though the life have reset in me, like I'm no longer walking. I'm, I'm using catheters. I'm in, I'm literally a different physically a different person the, the mindset still hasn't shifted at that point it's not only when i started realizing that there has to be a shift with this reset it's when i started finding barbering and even when i found barbering there was a shift there because i had to start looking at, at things in a different way i said okay there's there's a i need to do a reset i will do a reset at this point what i'm doing is going to either catch me it's good at this point i'm still doing the same behaviors that i was prior to me pulling the chair so what's next it's either death death or jail and life in jail right so the reset was there but the shift of me thinking of okay like i gotta do something with my time and finding barbering that put me in a space where i now i'm like i got i have to start thinking that when somebody gets me upset or i'm in an environment when i feel disrespected it's not uh we're not going to react to a physical uh, 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 response, right? And so that took mm-hmm. some time, but it, it, again, that the shift and me being intentional and shifting my mindset and understanding that this reset that was coming was was going to benefit me, was actually me, making me a better person, was literally. And mind you, at that point when I was in the midst of that transition, I didn't know that this was that's what was happening. I just yeah. understood that what what I was doing prior and everything that took for you know. Mo- to this point was not working. So now we get through barbering. There was another shift, right? And and becoming a shop owner. There was there were so many there's a, there were so many resets, but that came with the shift. And every level of my my shift, I had to really and it's going back to why I started saying that this month is, you know, I've been I've been really processing and 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 thinking through what this year's been for me and, and what are some areas because there's a shift coming. And not only in my career, um, but there's a shift coming in me as a leader, as a friend, as a as a husband, as a father, a man of God. And that shift, I'm in the process within this month to really identify what are those areas that mm-hmm. that I need to make sure that I'm intentional because what's coming, mm-hmm. what I have to dead the old Jorge to be able to get to the new the new space God has for me. If new that makes space, sense, right. I know I went in the yeah, whole. Definitely. A whole, uh, you know, a, a mouthful of, 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 you know, of just kind of showing you that navigating through that. But that's just where I'm at. Like, I really believe that the reset always comes, but you can't have a, a, a positive, a healthy reset that that aligns with where you want you're, you're seeking to be if you're not shifting your mindset. All right. All right. And, and just to talk about shifting. Right. Just going back to the word mm-hmm. shift, because there are. There is, and in my personal experience, there's there's, there's um, negative shifts, <laughs> but there's also positive shifts. And I guess looking at the example of a car, it's like okay, boom. When you shift in a car, you're you can shift into 
neutral. You know, you can shift into reverse. Neutral and reverse. Neutral could be seen as staying still. Reverse could be seen as going backward. But also, you can also shift in the drive. You know what I'm saying? You can you can shift in the four wheel drive. So it's like there is many different shifts. Some 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 are just plateauing you. Some are taking you backwards. But you have to rock with the shift that's going to propel you forward. But sometimes you need you need to you need to take a step a shift backwards to go forward. You learn and, that, you and, learn, and, you and learn I and I and I believe I believe that if anybody listens to Adela, I'd be like, oh, okay, like we're in a, we're in a society that if you're not out there grinding and and ah and running through the door, they oh like she's not no, she's actually if you if you really know Adela, it's like yo I'm gonna park right here, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little I'm gonna reverse I'm a three point turn into this parking space I'm gonna reset I'm gonna identify what that shift ni- and so the shift was slow down. Let's re- let's find a way to really because you are here doing what you need to do. You are here grinding. You are here, uh, 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 you know, uh, building a, a, a business with us. You are out here, um, you know, doing your, your 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 career as as well. You have family and friends. You you're doing God's work. Like there's a lot that don't get it twisted. You don't know about my sister. So she's out here doing. She's moving and dabbling. Yeah. But in her season, right? I have to park. Three point turn, reverse back into this parking space. Relax right here. Put this on neutral. Put this on parking, whatever. So there's been a couple of shift, but it's been intentional shift. And that's why I said when she said what she said, let's not get it. I don't want y'all to hear because people people are sick in the head sometimes. They hear sofa. They hear they hear they hear. Hey, listen, I, I'm being I'm I'm I've been there and right and I gotta reframe mm-hmm. myself for even thinking and processing sometimes. And that's why I'm huge with like, okay, what what, what that. What did that person mean? What this information mean? Because I'll go straight to that <laughs> that paralyzed mindset. Because I'm like, okay, nah, you you gotta understand what what we're saying here. Whatever that is for you, mm-hmm. remember the reset is so needed, and you have to become a pro at resetting. But that doesn't come with the proper shift of mindset. And why are you resetting? When are you resetting? Yeah. And what's the outcome of your reset? Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know. It's so interesting because you listed, I feel like, a lot, and yet there's still so much more in the background that, like, I do some things I've shared, some things I haven't shared, but I think something that was important for me was, you know, I, my conviction is that I want to be fully in alignment with God and flow at an ease that I can walk through doors and I ain't got to kick them down, right? Like, that is my goal. And so for me to have a conversation with my therapist, right, to have some uh, self-reflection and say, you know what, I've been going fast and furious, I'm burnt out. Um, You know, yes, I have like family or whatever, but let me keep it a book. Your girl's typically doing it herself, right? So what does that look like for me to not just rest for health, like physical health, but rest for the sake of alignment and trusting that God does what he says he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? And so always greater purpose, which is why I've said several times on the podcast, what does success mean to you? For me, success doesn't mean my body is broken down, but I have millions of dollars in the bank account. That doesn't work. (laughs) It doesn't, it's it's not going to work for me to, okay, cool. I got the money or, you know, I have access to certain doors, certain rooms, but you know, mentally, I'm not in the most productive and positive space. It doesn't work for me. And so, baby, I'll throw this thing in park and reset as much as I need to. And at any point in time, I feel like I need to, if I feel like I'm veering off course, or if I feel like my health is slipping in some form or fashion, and remember that is holistic health, not just physical health, because it's needed. I'm not committed to the grind for the sake of grinding. I'm committed to purpose and fulfillment and doing the things I feel like God has called me to do. And sometimes he's calling me to sit down. And you know what I'm going to do? Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit I, down you know, on that very comfortable love, couch in the corner. <laughs> Can you Say break what, down that for the people, though? Like holistic health compared to mental yeah. health? Or break it down for me, too. <laughs> well, yeah, like we're whole people. We are mm-hmm. whole people. And so I think we get caught up when we're trying to fragment our success where you're healthy financially, 
but your mental health is struggling. And mental health is not just depression and anxiety. Mental health is confusion. Mental health is negative mindset. Mental health is negative self-talk, right? Emotional health, health. That's something that we don't talk a lot about. Mental health and emotional mm-hmm. health are different. So one of the things I do for myself, I've journaled. How am I feeling? And I work through emotions. So I can figure out what is real, what is triggered by something. Am I tripping? Have I had enough water? I'm going to keep it 100. Because sometimes we just be <laughs> thirsty and we be like, I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But we're making, we're making de- uh, decisions dehydrated, okay? And it's taking us down the wrong path. So we are full people. You have to you know, really evaluate all aspects of yourself. How are you with <laughs> your educational health? How are your financial health, your mental health, your emotional health? In any spiritual, spiritual is big. How are you in your spiritual health? So often we talk about health and it's just focused on the mental aspect of things. But I think even taking the evaluation to say, you know, these are things that make up who I am and really being honest about what am I feeling? What am I experiencing? Am I where I want to be across the board? Because if you have the career you want, but your relationships are trash, you might need to reset. No, not might. You do need to reset. You need to reevaluate. You need to reset. Right. And so I think having that evaluation, that self-reflection time, that time of meditation, that time of prayer, that's how you start the shift because now you're able to identify, oh, I thought I was doing great in this area and not so much. <laughs> so let me pivot. So the reason I, you know, I brought up, you know, my furniture, it's like, it's so simple. It's furniture. It's not like I went and bought some like $20,000 couch. That ain't the case, right? Yeah, like, yeah, your girl, yeah. you know, went to a local store, found something. But the point was create, yet, heavy on the yet. But the point was, I, their process is, I'm going to keep it a book. I love a clean apartment. I love a clean, sparkling apartment. But I don't necessarily want to be the one to make it sparkle. I'm gonna just keep it <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, that's but all. What does that... It's true. I love when my stuff is in order and nice and shiny and bright and it smells all lemony and fresh. But that means it's just me here, right? So that mm-hmm. means I got to be the one to make it smell lemony and fresh, unless I hire someone. So one of the things to help me rest, because I had to identify you're going too much, you're burnt out. That That is, burnt out is a level of not being healthy, right? So I'm creating processes, things, and putting things in place to help me live a life of ease. Hence the example of the couch. Hence the example of, I put certain measures in place in terms of like cleaning and keeping my, my place clean. I don't do a, you know, like old school grannies to wake you up, a mama wake you up at the crack of dawn on like a Saturday. <laughs> I don't Man, do that. Get I get out of my business. All that. Right. <laughs> I think most people of color, I th- right. I think most people of color can identify to that all day cleaning session, right? But I, th- that doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. So I put things in place to help me keep, you know, stay on top of things. Um, and, and that works for me. So that was, that was the point of the couch and like even buying new nightstands and there are other things I'm going to be adding just into my home, going back to what Jorge said about environment, because I'm creating ease that those things of ease help me enjoy and encapsulate the health and the rest. And, you know, then I can say, "Eh, okay, I, I've been doing something out of order. Let me, let me reset. But that evaluation was key for me. And again, that's all aspects, all, all aspects of things. You're always rushing to get to where you need to be. You probably have an unhealthy uh, relationship with time that you need to reevaluate, <laughs> right? So it's that holistically, I think, you know, society puts such a big focus on achieving in one area and then ignores the rest. We are whole people. Every aspect is important, not just one. Right, right. You, you know, I really, it's really amazing that everything y'all have said just aligns with the aligns with the definition of resetting you know the oper- so the definition is an opportunity to heal to let go of the old and embrace the new and literally y'all probably didn't even know that specific definition <laughs> but uh, that's everything that we've talked about i've been studying i've been studying the reset so i i've yeah i came across it and 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 it really that's why it's it's so important but you know, I, I like kind of touched on it, uh, not kind of, but that's what she just went into saying is that, man, you, I know a lot of people that work on a reset 
and they're not successful with their reset because their mindset is not shifted. Mm-hmm. And there's a that's a one two punch, right? You 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 can't do one without the other. You can't change your mindset and not reset, right? And in, in my eyes, right. like a lot of y'all is like, yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm I'm gonna do better, I want better, but then you don't reset and you you don't get caught you get caught up in what 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 you've been doing last season. It's like, yo, okay, like you got you gotta give yourself a pat on the back and say, yo, it's all right, like we're not gonna sit on that any longer. And that's where yeah. I've been able to master, guys. Like, to be honest with you, I've been able to master the fact of, like, okay, yeah, you look kind of silly going through that. Like, you went through a silly season. You look kind of, you know, excuse my French, but feeling stupid. Mm-hmm. And I could sit in that and, and feel embarrassed, but I'm like, what is, like, I don't know. In my head, it's always been like, yo, like, let's get through that. Like, all right, like, like what can we do now? And I want y'all to really understand that all goes back to how you process and think and and really, you got to learn, like, going back to what Alan was saying, it's all the above. Learn how to let go of things. You, Some of us mm-hmm. emotionally just don't know how to let go. Um, and, and that right there doesn't allow you to, uh, you know, it doesn't allow you to reset properly. And, and then you find yourself chasing your tail. And then this is where your, your self-esteem comes down and, and your confidence drops. Why? Because now you're not even doing what you said you was going to do. So it becomes a cycle, right? You, it mm-hmm. becomes a... a, 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 a to me, it's, it's to me, uh, insanity is continue to do something that is just like you know it doesn't work. And so, you know how many people in my like I, I come across conversations and they call me, and you've been saying the same thing for six months to a year, like the same thing, but still operating of the same behaviors. And and then when you when you reset, because I can see you on social media, I can see you, I can see how you're doing certain thing that it's like a reset. It's a it's a it's a type of uh, you. I'm gonna do this different. But your mindset, your sh- it hasn't shifted. You still stuck mm-hmm. on what, what you, <laughs> same emotional struggles. You be, why? Because it's going back to what what Alalai just spoke of. You're not doing the rooted work. You're not, and, and you, you're not going back and becoming whole. And you have to right. be whole before you get to a point of of getting the results you're seeking. So we could go on and on, and this could be a three part episode, right? Uh, but the reality is this. You know, I know I could speak for for myself. I'm in a season. It's it's not just about resetting because it's really operating off of what is the ultimate reset, right? And the ultimate mm-hmm. reset because we started talking about what the ultimate reset is going back to working from the inside out, understanding that you for you to be able to get to that next level, you you have to be whole, and that consists of mm-hmm. everything that we just mentioned there, um, but also like. What is that? What is that for you? And I think that a lot of times we don't know what that is for us. And we let other people's um, journey, other people's goals, other people's mission statement, right? Mission and vision. And and when we do start seeking or chasing something, it doesn't allow us to be whole because that's not our mission and vision. Right. And so the first step that I want you to do is have a whole, you know, what's the, what's the homework? Like, what's your mission? Right. Like peel back back. What's your purpose? And your purpose is something that is not for you. Right. And we talk about purpose. So like, OK, for me to be able to do what I do, um, you know, at a high level, it is it, 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 to give away my purpose. My purpose is the ability to connect with others, the ability to help people develop, the ability to help people realize that life is what you make. it. Right. I've gone through X, Y, Z. Um, not because it, you know, that's what God had for me, but that, that's just how he used me to be able to do his work. But I realized that for me to be able to do that and walk into my purpose, I have to really be whole for me to be whole. I have to understand, you know, how does that tie into everything God needs me to be? And so that goes back into mm-hmm. me understanding that, um, I will let go of things that don't work the right way or people that don't work the right way or situations that are out of my, my hand. Uh, because I am in the image of daddy, right? I was sharing with DJ just something this morning um, that I went to the restaurant and I I, I, I went back to a certain behavior, Alali, um, because of a certain mm-hmm. moment. And it was just like, okay, you, you still mm-hmm. have some residue inside of you. You, mm-hmm. you still you still got to. And so, again, reflecting and identifying like, yo, what is like I've done resetting. But the the, yeah. the the mindset still hasn't shifted completely, right? Mm-hmm. I'm on neutral, 
So I can't go forward or, or backwards. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in certain areas. What is that for Jorge? Because for, for Jorge to get to that financial freedom and for Jorge to get to a point where there's certain rooms that God is going to give you certain opportunities, you got to make sure that we, 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 we clean out that residue. We don't, you ever sat on the table, right? After somebody uh, used it and you're in a restaurant and it's sticky, it doesn't look dirty, mm -hmm. but you put your hands on and it's, and it's still sticky. It's still, there's still residue dirt. Yeah, that, that, that right there is a thing. Yeah. Um, and so that's the season I'm in. It's just really making sure that I'm being intentional, shifting that, that, that perspective, identifying where mm -hmm. there's a lot of programming where we come from um, that we have used for majority of our life to uh, defend ourselves, protect ourselves. But right now, this season is hurting mm -hmm. and, it's, and, it's, and it's keeping us from what God has for us next, uh, next season. So, again, mm -hmm. combination of the reset, but really identifying that, number one, you need to be whole. From being whole, you need to really start looking at not not the cup being halfway empty or halfway full, like I always tell you, but understanding that you are the cup. And then after that, okay, what is the proper reset? What are the proper things that are going to align with what I want or what God needs for me uh, as, as we go into this next season? And, uh, and let me say this, because I think where a lot of people get caught up or stuck is kind of like what we talked about in a previous episode is that self-awareness part. I think some people will come to the realization that whatever their issue is, they're like, oh, this is my issue. And it'll stop right there. And they think they can like chant, chant their way or like, I'm just going to speak positive until I get there. Y'all like get the help that you need to move forward. Help comes in a lot of different forms. And most of us need uh, kind of like a, a vitamin, you like a multivitamin, got a little bit of everything in it. You're going to need help from different angles. So that mm -hmm. may mean getting a financial coach, getting a therapist, going to talk to your pastor. If you don't have a pastor, maybe finding a pastor and joining a church or what, you know, whatever your thing is, right? Like you're, you're going to have to be honest with yourself and then do that applied self-awareness where you start putting in the action to get the help that you need. It's not enough just to say, oh my gosh, I realize this is my issue. And then you're like trying to move forward saying, I'm no longer this thing or I no longer have this problem. That doesn't work. Amen. A lot of people do that. That doesn't work. <laughs> so save your time and go get the help that you need on the upfront because that will definitely be a catalyst for you. Hey, download, download this episode and send it to someone that needs <laughs> to hear that. This is another form of... Uh, you know, uh, shifting that mindset and giving you some some mm -hmm. insight on what it is. And yo, uh, before you know, uh, we close out, man. I, I just want to say, uh, I truly, truly appreciate everybody that has been download uh, downloading the, the the podcast, has been engaging mm -hmm. with us. Um, we love you. We appreciate you, man. You know, we started this off of uh, just hey, let's just let's just create a platform where we could you know um, you know share our growth. And so the Paralyzed to Prosper podcast is exactly that life and business. And we're going to always be transparent. We're going to show you where we are being paralyzed and how we get from that paralyzed to prospect, uh, because the goal is to always get on the other side of your blessing. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment and just say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's some things coming in the works where we've been working and we, we always looking to uh, make that reset, right. As a company, as individuals. Um, so don't ever get it twisted. Uh, you know, the JSA uh, brand and, and team and, and, you know, we, we stand for, you know, we stand, we are who we say we are and we work really hard to operate off of that energy. Um, and so you're always going to get the, the, the real, um, you're going to get the good, the, the bad and the sexy through this process. And, um, and I'm super proud to uh, not only do this and, and, and be chosen by God, but to do it with these two beautiful uh, folks, uh, human beings that I love and, and dearly appreciate in my life because they make me better and they sharpen me as we go and grow, uh, you know, spiritually, um, uh, physically, uh, financially, um, you know, and, and leadership, right? Like we always talking about leadership. Leadership starts within ourselves. So share this podcast continue to pass the word you know we we truly appreciate you and we're going to continue working in the back end of things to make sure that we continue creating services products that are gonna um, help you know you and everybody else including ourselves to get to that next level because one thing that that um you know that we live by is refuse to lose mindset and so we're going to figure this out together um some things are coming up for the post of 2023 we're going to go into 2024 with a whole different energy and, and we're, we're holding each other accountable to that. So stay tuned, download, subscribe, 
I, I need y'all to pass this around and, and really put it into some folks, uh, you know, uh, hands that is going to help them because there's a lot of folks right now mm -hmm. that are feeling isolated. They feel la like they don't have what it takes to get to the next level. And we always, if, you, if you've been listening to us and you've been rocking with the brand, we always share, like, that's not, it's not that we're deep like that. And it's not that we don't go through that. It's that we choose not to stay in it. And so get them around the fire, get them into a space where they're, um, are going to get the bright information again, right? Because not all information is good. And, and, and just know that, you know, not only we love you, but God loves you most importantly. So I don't know if you want to close this out, DJ, uh, but that's just, I wanted to share that's been in my spirit. No, you did your thing. You definitely closed out. Hey, just make sure to follow us on all platforms. You know, I, the calendar is getting filled up, but I know that Jorge is um, available for the end of 2023 and 2024 booking. So make sure y'all tap into the site, booking tab, and stay tuned for things that's coming. We'll see y'all next week. Peace.